This is just an, uh, another example, right, of the condemned cuts in Westminster really affecting frontline people. And you would have heard now or in the paper today, Carl Sargent, uh, the local government minister in the assembly, saying yesterday, don't start with the front line, start with the chief. Because if you want to make cuts, 2% cuts on some of the salaries of there will save a hell of a lot of money. But what the public needs to know, and that's why demonstrations like this are important, that cuts affect the frontline people, the people who serve the people, the workers who are out there. And people know that we had a major fire in our house four years ago, and the fact that they could reach my house in less than ten minutes meant that we were only out of the house for ten months while the house was being done up. But if it had been 15, 20 minutes, the whole house would have gone, and we'd have been, you know, homeless. And the other thing, of course, is we were lucky with our fire that it happened at 6.15 in the afternoon. If that had happened in the middle of the night, who knows, you know? So it's quite important that frontline services are kept close to the people. And the other thing I, I want to stress, of course, is it's not just fires. You think of car accidents, major accidents of that kind. We had a gas leak or a chemical leak in Canesley about a month ago. Again, danger to the public. Who are there? Front line is the fire service. So we make, must make sure that we fight all these cuts and protect the front line services because they're the ones who serve us. And we, I personally and my family thank them for what they've done for our family. And I hope that some of you won't, won't have that experience. But if you do, and we keep this station with the entire crew that are here now, so much the better. And I agree with one of the other speakers. When I saw those shift patterns, can you imagine somebody working for 70 hours? That will lead to accidents, it will lead to illness among the troops, and it's something that we certainly need to fight. So the best of luck on this fight, and I hope we'll win it.